Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And so, y'all seen both videos. I think y'all seen this one first with the DC Audio M4 six and a half, and then I seen the second video I posted. I think sometime today or yesterday, depends on when I release this video. And it showed the performance of the Sun Auto U series. These views are what's happened in my application. This is what I noticed. The U, I mean both the U was able, even on the frequency suite, and in the song, was able to hit higher only by tenths. I think we did a 125.8 at 31 hertz here. And we did a 125.94 at 32 hertz here. Uh, let's just give that a little area, with, maybe a little area with MB. MB, because I noticed on that frequency testing that I could throw more power, more power to the U than the DC audio. DC, DC audio, I was using my subwoofer pre out to increase the voltage, which is in line with sun, sundown audio. You know, they seriously underrate their product. Uh, maybe it was getting, I don't know, it was getting more power. I had to get more power to it. And you see the excursion effects. Now on the song, the DC Audio did a 126.72 and the U did a 126.98. Once again, same frequency, I believe, because at that point, that's when it did it at 31 hertz. And I was like, okay, well, that lets me know on frequency sweep. Might have been something with the signal. I don't know it. So it's loud about a couple of tenths on peak frequency. But if this is the thing that was sad, with some of you would say, well, then you use better. Mm. If that's so, did you look at the musical average? And when you look at the musical average between the M4 and the U on the same song, you notice that it finished with a musical average of 114 which means of all the frequencies hit throughout that song in the course of that song, he was able to hit more. He hit, he was able to hit so many different frequencies at higher notes that he averaged out 114, whereas the U averaged out on the same song with more power because I left the setting the same. I went from the frequency suite right into the song. With more power, the U was only able to put out at 111. That's a 3B, 3DB difference. That's almost what well, that is twice as loud if you look at the average. So if you was to have two vehicles side by side, I think you would notice the U might hit the low note better, maybe even louder, but it's only by tenths. But overall, throughout the whole course of the song, the vehicle with the M4 would be, to your ears, deemed louder. Because he's hitting a wider range of songs with more impact. So, break it down to the U excels in the lows. It suffers in the high frequencies. Maybe because of the suspension. I don't know. It does do well in the lows. But overall, lows and highs, and using this throw, I think, in my opinion, because of the cone area, he was able to play more balanced, and thus he was able to get a high musical average. Overall, he played the song 3 dB louder than the U. So you got, you know, different ways you want to use it. I think this woofer would surprise people in uh, this ain't no which is better context. I'm just, just showing you this the, on this application and in my song. He hit, hit the lows by a tenth louder. But musical average went to the DC. Went to the DC audio. I believe you would use either. And like if you want to do something real, you know, nice. You got a center console build. Put two of them in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a fourth order. Yeah, because you could put both of these in 0.3 or even 0.25. And then you three three to one ratio. You could put this in a 0.25 seal. 0.75 be ported that to like 40, between 40 and 45 hertz, you'll be surprised with, then you, it's a fourth order, so you're going to get a 6 to 10 degree increase 
So these, both of them would excel in small applications. But looking at, looking at the overall, he is going to play louder overall where he was just excelling the lowest. And I think that pretty much keeps up with sundown. People experience with sundown and that, yeah, they love the lows. Not all that balance. Not all that balance because maybe because they put more emphasis on X-Max in that cone area. Whereas Rusty kept, was, okay, I'm going to give you, it, it. you saw the movement. You saw the movement. Uh, he has more throw, but because he he has to have more throw because he doesn't have the cone area that he has. And you know, I showed y'all in the video with Jay Audio. That's just fact. If you have more X Max, if you don't have enough cone area, you have to try to make it up in displacement X Max. Whereas if you do have the cone area, you don't have to have that much X Max. And the media showed it. I mean, I played the same song, 114, 111. So they all have, they both have their uses. It's up to you to. It's up to you to pick what choice, based on what I showed you, which one you're going to use in your application. Now, this one, I do happen to sell. I don't have a relationship. Well, I don't have a relationship with Sundown Audio. But I think he did. I think the driver, uh, in the lower regions, whew, mm, I, I, ooh, it, it sounds great. It does sound great. And by a couple of tenths, by a couple of tenths, in my application, uh, but not 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 two tens, but like between point one and point eight. Yeah, so you can't really hear that in B. Yeah, well, you know, when you're quantifying something, whether you win by inch or you win by a mile, it's there. The quantification is there. So he will hit the lows with more authority. He will play the overall song louder. Fat now fix it, boy. Get up if you need any closure. Four, four, six, nine, four, four, eight, one, eight. And as always, please listen responsibly.